hello everyone. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Tom. I'm a professional baseball player, and this series is about my recovery from Tommy John surgery. If you're not new here, everything I just said is still true, but welcome back, and thank you for watching. Last time I checked in, I was dealing with a bit of a bicep strain that was preventing me from really ramping up off the mound. That has since been resolved, and it's time to throw off the mound for real, over 80 miles an hour this time, hopefully. And that means it's time for me to do a video about one of the incredibly cool places that I've gotten to throw and hang out at in my career. Alright, today we have something really special. Instead of the normal trip to RPM, going up to Adam Adamino's lab to throw today. And it's exciting because it's my first time getting off the mound since my bicep strain. I'd argue there's not a place in New York City where you could throw a bullpen in a better and more informative environment outside of maybe City Field or Yankee Stadium. I figured if it's time to throw my first real bullpen, then there's no better time to get back up to the lab while Otto and some of the other guys who throw there are still in town. And it's a bit of a trip from where I live up to the lab, but it's easy enough. I get to just sit on the subway for a while and play Flick Home Run like it's 2013 again. Now the lab is a really cool place, especially considering that it used to be a shoe store and I think a Chipotle at some point, and now houses a portable mound that you can find big league pitchers throwing off of sometimes. And also me sometimes. The lab is also one of the only places around here that I can go to throw on a trackman, which gives about as good of pitch movement data as I'm going to get outside of an actual stadium. This will be more important as I start working on off-speed pitches again, making sure that the shape is right and the movement profiles are the way that I want them, but it's also really important to make sure that my fastball is moving how I expect it to so that we have everything right from the beginning. And in what I'm going to call my first real bullpen since surgery, everything went pretty well. I got up to 85 on the track man, even if the slightly off-center radar gun didn't read that high, which was harder than I meant to throw, but everything felt alright and that was the main focus. The next time I threw off the mound was much the same, a little bit harder average velo, still all fastballs, and overall it felt fine. My command was still a little spotty, but that also really wasn't my main focus in these first two bullpens as much as throwing off the mound at a reasonable speed with no paint. We accomplished both of those things, and after this, we can start focusing on where the ball's going. Okay, so this place is really cool, but the least cool thing about it is if you want to go to the bathroom, you have to go through this, which looks like some kind of, it looks like I'm going to get murdered. It looks like you're going to get murdered every time you need to go to the bathroom. There's this beeping that's been going on for, I think, years now. Now that I'm more comfortable on the mound and I've survived my trip to the restroom, I do have to focus on where I'm throwing the ball. I've been optimistic that having a newly restabilized elbow will make that a little bit easier, and the next bullpen I threw seems to support this theory. And I even let the last one I threw go a little bit and got it up to 87, a definite post-surgical PR, and honestly harder than I even expected when I threw it. As I've mentioned before, getting into this velocity range again gives me a huge boost in confidence, because 85 to 87 was the range that I did most of my mound work in last offseason. So getting back into it now, when I feel like I still have a little more left in the tank, is definitely comforting. I also tried to throw a changeup in this pen, and I still feel kind of weird about them, which I feel like you can tell based on the result. I'll get back to those eventually. Another one of the cool things about the lab is how much incredible baseball memorabilia Otto has in here. For example, all of these jerseys from his former teammates. There are some notable names up there, to say the least. This Max Scherzer jersey is one of my personal favorites. There's a whole bunch of bobbleheads, some of Otto's old hats and gloves, name plays for everybody who's thrown at the lab. Hey, there's me. I couldn't tell you how many baseballs, some from Otto's career milestones, some signed by pretty notable players, and a whole bunch of other assorted cool things around the place. On to my next pen here, another very exciting one, the first time that I'm throwing sliders off the mound. I'd started spinning them on my lighter throwing days, and they feel notably better than trying to throw a changeup. So with the blessing of my PT and some other people that are much smarter than me, I decided to move forward with throwing them off the mound. And they were... not... great? I left four of the five that I threw way arm side, and I threw two of them a good bit harder than I meant to. But the shape of them on the track man was exactly what I was looking for, and they felt totally fine, which is really all I can ask of them the first time I throw them. I didn't try to step on any fastballs because I figured the stress of throwing a new pitch would be enough without trying to throw harder on top of that in this pen. I did throw one slider that I was pretty happy with, and my fastball command is slowly coming back, so this is another one that goes down as a win. Another great thing about the lab is being able to be around big league pitchers, which is always helpful and informative, especially when they're guys like Otto, but particularly relating to my current situation with my injury. These are guys who have had Tommy John surgery and come back to have great careers after that. Jamison Tyone has had it twice, Otto had it way back in 2015, 
and being able to get their perspectives on it is always really helpful. For me with the Tommy John, one of the weirdest things that I went through was I felt virtually the same from like the fourth month until like the tenth month, okay. you know? And like I feel like it's sort of common to like feel like you're just treading water through a long period of this. Yeah, so just you know? the entire time you were like throwing and working up to getting back on the mound? Yeah, and like I just was like, how come it's not getting incrementally better? But like, I guess it doesn't really work like that. It's not really linear like that. That took a while, and then getting to that last hump of like figuring out how to recover when putting a little more effort into it. Yeah, that's what you said. And to me, like yeah. getting up to game speed. Yeah. And you know, I can see like the point where you're in your rehab, like you're getting close to that part, and like the recovery is a big part of it. But the weird thing about it is it's just hard to predict it. Like you could one day wake up and have made a huge gain. You know, which is what kind of happened to me after a while, or or it could or it could kind of happen more incrementally. But I think that seems to happen a little differently for every guy. Yeah, I feel like I'm definitely coming up to that hump. Um, yeah. Like the recovery's been okay. It's just like every time I throw, it's like I'm making like the most marginal of gains possible. Yeah, and then the other the out. other uh, there's still gains, so there's still gains yeah. but then like the other problem is is like you can't simulate that you're gonna throw a little bit harder with a hitter in there and stuff. Yeah, exactly. So until you do that, that's going to be a step and that's going to be associated with a different recovery too and like feeling yeah. too. So it can be, it's incredibly mentally taxing as you know and as everybody knows who goes through it. But the good thing is, is like the science on it's pretty damn strong. Like yeah. you're going to be fine if, you, if you're just not a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> the fifth and final bullpen I'm going to include in this video is what I would call the definition of marginal gains. The big win of this one was the movement and command I had on my slider, fantastic for the second time throwing it off the mound. Also, this reminder that I am still an athlete. My fastball command was okay, I was trying to push for a little more velocity in this one, but I had to sacrifice a little command to get there. I also tried to figure out if I could throw a cutter of any kind from my arm slot, and well... Maybe we'll shelf that one. Overall, it was a good pen. I got some balls up to the velocity I needed to for training purposes, and my slider seems to have come back like riding a bike. Sadly, now it's time for Otto and many of the other attendees of the lab to head down to spring training, which I myself hope to be doing soon enough. But before we go, I wanted you guys to hear from the man himself what's so special about the lab. So, you know, lab obviously uh, is, is special to me because it kind of like helped save my career. You know, coming out of 17, which was my worst year in the big leagues, created this place going into 18 and had my best year in 18 because I was able to practice more and actually work on my skill, which to me is the biggest difference between, you know, good big leaguers and not good big leaguers. It's not physical ability necessarily, it's just more skill. And I realized that I wasn't practicing any skill work. That's where this place came from and then over the years, it's obviously evolved into yeah. more of like a bullpen party a couple days a week, and it's one of my favorite things because I get to get to share it with others in the community and, you know, help we help each other out and just have a good time together. Yeah, absolutely. You used to just come in and like throw the differential balls at this pad. Yeah, yeah, the pad, I mean, yeah, I mean, it used to be like all-encompassing, like, you know, yeah. we would do things that weren't mound work, you yeah, know. Yeah, there were like some weights in here. I miss those days for sure, yeah, my life's a little, a little bit of a different spot, yeah. but luckily yeah. Gerardo has the you. keys now, and yeah. he can hook it up, you know. Otto, thank you, good yeah, luck this year, man. thank you, man, thank you. Long live the lab.